Morning, everybody. It's been a while since I've done a video of any kind and I was, thoughts were burning and pouring out of my eyes and ears and nose and mouth. And so I just decided what better than to share a video with you fine people. Um, it's along the note of the post of today. Uh, we have this culture and it's very interesting. It's this do whatever the fuck you want, whatever brings you joy. You've been under control and you've been governed and you've been held down and restricted and you deserve and you can own and you can do this and free, 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 do whatever the f you want. I'm, I'm totally down with that. But this whole do what brings you joy, do the things you enjoy, do the things you enjoy. And then you take your little inventory at night and in the morning and your body didn't really like the things that you did that you thought you enjoyed. But this whole joy premise and you only live in this whole thing and one life you earn you or you deserve <clears throat> stems from this idea that you only have a very short space of time to function to travel to have sex to laugh to cry to dance to digest to taste to you only have this tiny little thing and then the body just starts going haywire and then it just doesn't let you do shit and then it just confines you and imprisons you to a bed and you're in hooked to tubes and you're in with this fucking detox cycles and these light gadgets and these IV vitamin bags and all this stuff but for during this period of time <clears throat> this short period of time you got to do the things you love and you earn this and you got that and because you were born ba 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 but it's on that premise that literally your body is going to start out of nowhere just start fucking flailing jabs <laughs> and throwing spears at you and attacking joints and attacking skin randomly and going at your hormones and going at your gut and going at your eyes and going at your all of it so you might as well do what you enjoy now because no more of this rigid standing on this beam of health and true medicine is just kind of tiptoeing along this balance beam and then when you slip up and you're not doing things that are perfect or what you've been told are perfect body has this whole thing so you might as well this healing response or it gets sick or it flares up or whatever it is and you think about it i do live a life me personally where everything i do i i absolutely devour i i, I adore it i love it even the difficult challenges that provide for the things that I enjoy doing. Because again, you have to work within what your body tells you you can or can't do or what it thinks that you are prepared to do or not to do. But this whole thing of do the things that you need to do to be successful and bring joy and happiness and peace. Okay, what'd your body think about what you just chose? Oh, well, everything inflamed and everything's rigid and I'm in bedridden for a while and then my skin responds this way and then my eyes and my lymph and my dreams all shit. Okay, so are, are you enjoying how your body's responded? No, but my body and I don't bring joy together. Like my body doesn't, my body prevents this joy that I want because my body's 65 or my body had surgery or my body has a tumor or my body has skin melting off or my body... You earn every bit of the level of life you get to experience. And if you can't experience that level, your body will tell you as a guide, a 100% honest guide. It's the only fucking person that won't lie to you. Your body. Everyone else has these little cryptic ways of talking to you. And sometimes a lie is not saying things. It's when information is asked for, but you don't say it. It's not just saying the opposite. It's actually not giving information. The body is 100,000% free flowing, all forward. Yosemite falls, <laughs> falling over 100% truth. It'll tell you how it thinks, how it feels about this joyous life that you claim you're living and doing the things that you enjoy. But again, if travel brings you joy, you have to do things to earn the ability to survive travel. You don't just get to travel, although they're making it available to anybody that can just roll down a runway and then get shipped to whatever location and then jump on another rolling thing and just get, <laughs> and that's fine. And that might be the level that you're talking about, but 
we don't have to be that way <laughs> so again whatever you enjoy doing i enjoy traveling i enjoy dating i enjoy dancing i enjoy eating rich meals made by hand i enjoy rich ingredients and really deep deep uh conversations late at night but you enjoy this i enjoy walking i enjoy hiking i enjoy um being able to crawl on the ground and i enjoy being able to carry things and i enjoy being able to do anything without thinking about asking permission to do it from my body i just enjoy being able to go and have this ultimate freedom of not being bound to a protocol a gadget a bag a tube a needle um uh step-by-step uh, -step process but again it's not this whole life of i want to do the things that i love in re defiance and in straight up rebellion against this this feeble body how dare my body try to get in the way of me dancing how dare my body try to get in the way of me trying to fat satisfy my life and that's just so wrong <laughs> it's just not even close to being how it works and so we have to reshape this. I deserve through, I enjoy through what does your body think truly about the things that you enjoy doing? Because when it gets down to it, the work and the consistency and the simplicity and the changes and the sacrifice um, and the shifts and the calibrations and everything you're going to sense. And if you're living the life, how your body truly knows and is designed, you're going to keep climbing and keep climbing. You're going to sense even more. You're going to feel even more. And when you take all this in, then the work and the changes and the sacrifice and all that you need to do and the grind and the discomfort and the, Oh, here comes a lizard. It's feeding time. Hold on one second. I got to feed this guy. Hold on. Actually, let's, sir, your table's not ready yet. It'll be about 10 minutes. Um, become part of that joy. So the things that I do that provide for me being able to surf or walk or hike or carry or fall or get injured and heal the injury to a level greater than beyond, to be able to digest whatever food I'm craving at the time at any time of day, to be able to do those things, how I live my life, the parts I'm not showing you guys, um, become a part of the joy of sharing a meal with somebody so it's not this oh i gotta do this but the meal is what i enjoy no it's the whole process it's everything that goes into you being able to hunt find crave prepare desire cut chew salivate digest assimilate excrete eliminate that's all part of it but we have this I have joy until the body just says, fuck you. And that's not the way it is because when the body does say, quote unquote, what you've been told is fuck you, that's a loving conversation between you and the body saying, hey, out of pure love and honesty and truth, I'm gonna need you to stay in bed for three weeks. And you're gonna think about what's going on and you're gonna make a whole bunch of changes and you're gonna feel a whole lot of things. And you're gonna totally process these things that are going on and in these changes come the desire uh, birds are in my bird bath hey and they're shaking it all over each other this is crazy all right a lizard is about to bite my toes and birds are in the bird bath okay but you will find joy in what you learned in those three weeks that you spent in bed and the things that you did while in bed the steps that you did the principles that you lived by the laws that you lived by the simplicity while in bed during that time because again don't waste that what were you supposed to learn? What were you supposed to change? What were you supposed to equip yourself with during that time period? Um, but we got to cut this whole thing of life is here until the body says that you can't live it there. Okay, and that's fine. And then you make changes to come back to there. And actually, when you make the right appropriate changes that are true to what your body's asking for, the level of life you're going to experience is beyond anything you could you ever have comprehended before. Taste, touch, sensations, experiences, things you see. That's the design. But this, this story behind just straight defiance and rebellion to do things that bring you joy in the face of, fuck you body, man. How dare you try? God damn, he's going to nibble. Oh, it's, hi, hold on. Just a six inch lizard coming at my toes. Hi, buddy. Hold on, I'll be with you, sir. Uh, you didn't call ahead. We don't have your table ready. Hold on. So, 
He's looking at me with his head tilted. Um, yes. Do things that bring joy. Do things that bring experience. Do things that bring these elevated life experiences on all fronts. These peaks and valleys, they're all a part of it. And the things that allow that you put yourself in a position to be able to stimulate your body to a level greater than anything you would ever experience. So you can sustain these levels of joy and these levels of experiences. That is also joy. And if it's not tied together and you're not seeing that, you're missing out. There's something more here than just squeeze as much joy as you can until your body starts to attack you. Squeeze as much joy and, and experience as you can until your body says no way because we all die and blah, 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 blah. And aging and decline and da, 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 da true we all die as certain as blinking as certain as cuts on our skin are going to scab over yeah so that's inevitable so preventing that and saying that's a success story doesn't make any sense because that's that is the success story that is the continuation of this thing so um it's how you shape it and where you start from but the story we're starting from is do the things that make you happy and straight rebellion and defiance of the body that's body's not gonna like that and there's more there's better uh all right i gotta feed this guy this guy. Hi, <laughs> little buddy. I feed you. Okay.